All right, folks, I am here at Bollinger Mill State Historic Site. It's a really neat place. We're just on our way home and decided to take a little break. What this is is an old grist mill. It's on the Whitewater River near Jackson, Missouri. And it's got a mill dam. So a waterfall goes over. And this Whitewater River goes into the Castor River eventually below, right below the block hole. And uh, it also has the one out of four covered bridges that are located in the state of Missouri. There's only four covered bridges that still exist, and this is one of them. I've been to three out of four. The other one's really far away, way over by Columbia somewhere, or up northwest Missouri. So I haven't been to that one. covered bridge here and uh, I would fish but uh, I ain't got enough time we got to get going back home unfortunately but it is a uh, pretty good stream for spotted bass smallmouth sunfish channel some crappie especially right now because it's real low You are not allowed to drive on this thing. It's just for foot traffic only. Uh, they have restored it. I believe in the past they actually maintained this. A lot of other states have way more than this. I think Illinois or Pennsylvania, or one of them has like over 70 or 80 of them. So I mean, Missouri only having four is really odd. The view from the other side really big mill it's just about a it's about an eight foot six to eight foot waterfall I actually fished the stream a lot growing up as a kid uh, up north of here upwards a lot smaller for small mountain god uh, when I was like age 16 21 quite a bit before I went in the military beautiful day those leaves are starting to change they're starting to fall off and it's really I'm gonna go around to the other side and get a better view of the waterfall do not know camping is allowed here no it says no camping right there on the sign I was gonna say this would be a perfect place to camp but unfortunately you can't they do give tours of the mill. It's, it's a little store, and you can go in there and do tours. It's open right now. be a great place to just come come and enjoy a picnic today would be the perfect day unfortunately we have to pick up our dog and we have to be there by one o'clock so today was kind of ruined for my even though i'm still on vacation we have to go home a day early uh, instead of staying till sunday like i want but you know it's just far life really beautiful place especially in the autumn like this i highly recommend it uh, on Highway 34, 
which goes from Piedmont to Jackson. Uh, be a good place to stop and visit just for scenery. And there's some other things around as well. There's a turtle out here swimming around. If I had just even one more hour, I would go out and I, what I used to do is go out down there and walk and walk out to that island and stand in the water and fish toward the rapids. And uh, you do quite a good. There's quite a few goggle line here. Beautiful park. I can go in the store real quick just to give you guys a little view. I can read some of this for you. It says, they passed this way, home to thousands of men, women, and children. The Cherokee Nation once spread across parts of Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Alabama. In 1830, Indian Removal Act required that the Cherokee surrender their land and move west. In 1838, more than 15,000 Cherokee began their trek west from their eastern homeland to Indian Territory, which is present-day Oklahoma over the Trail of Tears. They traveled by roads and rivers passing through southern Missouri. More than 1,000 died during the journey westward and more than 4,000 died as a result of their forced migration. Alright, we're gonna head home now.